we are going to need to look at a context diagram for accessing and using an email server. Now, with the context diagram, we've got to remember we're mainly concerned with looking at the inputs and the outputs of an information system. So, with this context diagram, we are going to start with a square that is our external entity. This, in this case, is the user. Next is a flow line that represents the data being sent. So the user will input their email address and password into the system to gain access. And then once they have access, they will type their message. A circle is used to represent the main process, which in a context diagram is the entire information system. In a context diagram, we only ever use one circle to represent the information system. From here, the message would then be sent to a recipient who would also be classified as an external entity and data would also be sent back to the user to confirm that their message was sent. So just make sure you understand the three main components of a context diagram. The square as the external entity, the arrows as data flow and the circle as the information itself as one process.